Aerosol contamination monitors are also referred to as air monitors. In this video, we will refer to them as air monitors. Air monitoring is method-driven, for example, NIOSH, ASTM, EPA, or others specific to certain industries. The most commonly used air monitors are 37mm 0.8 micron MCE. Empty monitoring cassettes can be purchased separately for 37mm and 25mm. Cassettes are also available with a variety of alternative millipore filter membrane materials and support pads. Each box contains 50 air monitors. Each box also contains average background particle count information for that specific lot. Air monitoring cassettes are always three pieces, with a red plug on the outlet and a blue plug on the inlet. Now, now, let's take a look at the three components in detail. The bottom piece of the monitoring cassette holds a membrane filter and an AP10 support pad. If you were to load an empty cassette, the AP10 support pad is placed first in the bottom piece, followed by the membrane filter. Using forceps eliminates excessive handling of the membrane filters. The center ring is placed next. If you are doing open face monitoring, the center ring helps to keep the filter in place. For closed face monitoring and for easy storage, the top piece is placed on the center ring. The 37 mm monitors are also offered in 0.45 micron pore size membranes. The 37 mm 0.8 micron monitors are also available in matched weight versions with yellow plugs on the inlet instead of blue plugs. Matched weight monitors contain two filters matched in weight to within 0.1 microgram, eliminating test filter pre-weighting in gravimetric analysis. The two filters are placed on top of the support pad inside the monitoring cassettes. The sample is collected on the top membrane filter, and the bottom membrane filter is used as the tear weight in gravimetric analysis. Many customers use flow meters or rotometers to calibrate the flow rate through the monitor. As an alternative, we offer a set of calibrated flow-limiting orifices with various flow rates. They come with five different flow rate options, 1, 3, 4.9, 10, and 14 liters per minute. The product information, including airflow rate conditions, are provided on the back. The orifices are threaded into the stainless steel aerosol adapter. If the flow-limiting orifice is used to control flow rate, thread the orifice into the barbed end of the aerosol adapter. Attach it to the vacuum hose. Once the flow-limiting orifice is connected to the vacuum source, remove the bottom red plug from the monitor and insert the lure connector end of the aerosol adapter. If the method specifies open face monitoring, remove the top cover of monitor. Do not remove the blue plug from the top piece. Place it on a stand if necessary and apply the vacuum for the specified time required in the method to collect the sample. After sampling is complete, turn off the vacuum and replace the monitor cover to protect the filter. Once the cover is in place, remove the monitoring cassette from the vacuum source and replace the bottom red plug. Send the air monitor to the lab for analysis, such as gravimetric, microscopic, or analytical. The 0.8 micron monitors are also available in a 25 millimeter diameter membrane filter size, and the 25 millimeter monitors come with a plastic hose barbed adapter. Similarly, remove the bottom red plug from the monitoring cassette and insert the plastic hose barbed adapter. Attach the other end to a vacuum source. If the method specifies open face monitoring, remove the top cover of the monitor and apply vacuum for the specified amount of time to collect the sample. After the sampling is complete, turn off the vacuum and replace the monitor cover to protect the filter. Once the cover is in place, remove the monitoring cassette from the vacuum source and replace the bottom red plug. Send the air monitor to your lab for analysis. 